Hello everyone, it's Keith Crowley here again in the Ringling Museum of Art. And today I want to talk about this painting that's directly behind me, painted by Carlo Dolci, and it's John the Revelator. Actually, it's not John the Revelator, it's, um, it's St. John writing the Book of Revelation. So this painting is a great example of layering and while Carlo Dolci is an Italian painter, the techniques he's using right here are very, very common to the painters who worked in Northern Europe, uh, Flemish painters, where they would build up many layers of paint, often working with complementary colors glazing over top of one another. So, for example, laying down an initial layer of yellow um, and then coming back over it with a translucent violet, then again coming in with a green, and slowly building up, working from light to dark, and through that process, getting a wonderful variety of paint. Your eye is actually traveling through the surface of the paint film and then it's hitting the ground and bouncing back out and what that translucency does is it creates this luminous quality in the painting that can't really be achieved any other way. What I also love about this painting is it's painted on copper. Um, being somebody who also paints on metal I'm just uh, love what that can do. It, there's something magical about painting on metal that other types of um, panels can't really replicate. So if you look at that wonderful area underneath the jaw and around the mouth, those greens, that's showing off the amount of layers that the artist is using to build up and to create that sense of subtlety. This subject has been writing away in isolation on the Isle of Patmos and probably hasn't slept in many days and that's why he's got these sullen eyes. But you can't achieve these effects um, really without building up paint in this way. All right, well, you've seen one of my favorite paintings in the collection. I don't have them ranked in like a one through 30 or something, but this one would probably crack my top 10. It's a gorgeous painting, and when you come visit us, uh, please don't miss it. It's worth the price of admission.